Even all remarks here, back again with another video, back again with another Oculus Quest video, and we're playing Quake Quest. So Quake Quest isn't officially available on the Oculus Quest, you do need to sideload it, which means adding unofficial programs and apps to your device, but it opens up a world of possibilities. I've got a video uh, which I'll link down below, uh, which goes through a super easy method, or the easiest method you could possibly do to get it all working using a program called SideQuest. It's super easy, follow that tutorial, you'll be set, no worries. Um, and this is coming to SideQuest. So SideQuest has certain apps and games kind of as part of it, and QuakeQuest, as of when this video goes live, will be a part of that. Uh, oh, uh, and this is great. So this is the original Quake game in VR. Now this was playable on uh, Gear VR and Oculus Go, and the guy, Mr. Beef, has now ported it to, uh, uh, quests as well so it now has added six degrees of freedom so like you can kind of see we have this kind of snubby stubby little gun but we can kind of push it away from us up and down all that good stuff if you really want to you can duck but given it's quake it doesn't really make much difference you can walk forward in six degrees but you have to take so many steps you'll need a lot of room to play but it works really well you kind of do feel like you're kind of really really in here you can kind of peek around corners a little bit if you want to, like this. But Quake is so sort of fast paced, you might as well just go, all guns and blazing, come on, let's go. Give in everyone. Die dog. Yes, die you. And it works really well. It is super smooth to play. There's no kind of real big issues. The guns are a bit weird, the gun models, but that's because, you know, the game was made to be played with your hand kind of like this, you know, playing an actual sort of tra traditional video game. So the fact that they've added uh, VR to it. Oh, look, I can get an axe out. There you go. You can use the. Uh, oh, I'm going to get myself killed here. You can use the uh, grip button to swap weapons. Uh, and then your left stick controls you moving backwards and forwards. And your right stick, you can set to do anything if you want to. You can actually sort of have the controls where it only kind of. You only turn when you sit. So. Oh, 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 oh. So, uh, sort of stall controls. Oh, I feel like I can hear people behind me. Uh, oh, die you. Oh, oh. Uh, or you can have sort of smooth control, so you can actually sort of have it full kind of smooth. So if you put, use the stick, you can actually kind of turn around smoothly. I prefer the kind of incremental turning. Oh, I got killed. I've got this on hard just because uh, I want to kind of show you a lot of action, which just means it really is hard. <laughs> but there are some options you can kind of tweak and change. That's all in the options settings. Uh, there are some other stuff. You can even play multiplayer online. There's even online servers out there. You can even set up your own sort of PC server and play with your friends. So it'd be interesting to get some games going together. The only real issues are as if you kind of look here, look, if I move my weapon around, the world kind of moves as well. And if I look down and move my head or up, I move my head, the world moves with it as well. But I know he does want to fix that. So if you're a developer, you know how to fix that sort of thing. Get in contact with Mr. Beef and let him know. I'm sure he'll be very pleased to find out and he'll update this uh, going forward. I've also added the uh, HD texture packs. Uh, so you've got sort of higher quality graphics. So obviously this game was created, you know, however many years ago. Uh, and it's nice that it's now got some upgrades. So uh, the graphics are a little bit smoother. Still runs just as good as it sort of uh, without the sort of the HD texture pack on. Oh, 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 oh. Is there a guy sometimes hiding up there? No, no. Uh, push that button. Quest, quest, or even Quake even has lots of like hidden doors and portals and stuff. So it's worth kind of keeping an eye out for stuff. Blow those up. Oh no. How much health have we got? They've got the floating health bar at the bottom there sort of thing. Uh, it's kind of just in your view. If you look down, you get a proper view of it. It does work really well. Oh, there's a guy up there. And that uh, guy got me earlier. Oh, there's a guy up there as well. And the good thing kind of almost with the quest version is because you can reach out. I know you're in there. I knew you were in there. Uh, you can kind of get a little bit of a better range. Sometimes the bullets and stuff don't come out of the gun in the correct line, but I know that's all sort of stuff he's looking at to fix. So expect it to just get better and better as time goes on. But this is one you can easily sort of play sitting down. And I've played a lot of this already. So I've really enjoyed playing this. So uh, let's jump into my PC. I'll show you how to set this all up, how to download the HD texture pack and how to unlock 
the full game because you can buy it on Steam to unlock everything, not just the sort of demo levels. Ooh, let's kill all these guys here first. Yeah, Gib Heaven. So Quake Quest isn't available on the Oculus Store. You're gonna need to sideload it to your device. And the easiest way of doing that is using a program called SideQuest, which I've done a video on. It's the easiest way to sideload apps to your headset. So make sure you go check that out if you haven't already. But we're gonna assume you have and you've got SideQuest installed. All you need to do is go into SideQuest, boot it up like this, and go into the VR Games tab. Connect your Oculus Quest so you've got a nice green light at the top corner here so you know it's all connected fine. And Quake Quest will appear as one of these icons here. So as of when this video goes live, Quake Quest will be in this list here. And you can just click on more and click install. So obviously click Quake Quest, not pick up League Hockey, but do install that as well because it's well worth playing. Uh, once you've done that, that'll install it to your headset. What I would recommend you do is just reboot your headset and that's it done. You, you're kind of all sorted, you're ready to go, you're ready to play um, and you can just pick up your controllers and just have a whale of a time. But there are two other things I think you might want to take a look at as well. There's also the option for adding HD textures. So for that you just need to go to this link here which I'll leave down below and download these Quake texture files. Download those to your PC. Once they're downloaded, make sure you extract the files and then what you need to do is drag and drop these three files into your Oculus Quest. So once again Oculus Quest connected to your PC via USB. Double click the storage, go into the folder called Quake Quest, go into the ID1 folder and let you just drag and drop these three files over. I'm going to say no because I've already done them and once they're in once again just reboot your headset so it has a nice restart, hold down the power button for about three seconds choose reboot um, and then it should be nice and fresh and like I said at the start of the video the version that you're playing at the moment is the shareware version so it's just a free few levels uh, for you to kind of try out see whether you like it uh, kind of like a demo um, and if you want the full game to unlock all the levels all you need to do is go on to Steam buy this version which I'll leave a link to down below add it to your car it's only £3.99 or about $5 so it's a bit of a bargain anyway and then you unlock all the levels so download that install that on your PC. I'm not going to show you how to install things on Steam. I'm sure you can figure that out yourself. Go to the folder on your hard drive where you installed your Steam game. So I install mine on my D drive under a folder called Steam Games. Then go into Steam Apps, Common, Find Quake, and then the ID1 folder. Double click that. And there's two files in here, two pack files. So pack zero, pack one. Once again, in your Oculus Quest, in that ID folder one, the same as before, you just drag and drop those in and then reboot your headset again. And then you should have all levels unlocked and you can play as much as you like in whatever level you like and whatever difficulty you like. So hopefully that all makes sense. Let me know in the comments down below if you've got any questions or any issues, something doesn't work for you. Big shout out to Mr. Beef for uh, putting this all together. I'll leave his details down below as well. So if you've got any kind of more technical issues uh, around the game sort of thing, and if something doesn't work, uh, maybe let him know as well. But for me, it's a great game to have on your Oculus Quest, even if you just literally boot up Side Quest, install it with one click, and then just kind of enjoy the base game without even kind of buying the full game. It's well worth checking out. And it does have multiplayer. So it'd be interesting to get some multiplayer games going some nights. Uh, so as it's free, hopefully a lot of you guys will get it. And maybe we'll do a live stream at some point when we get as many people as we can to see how it's what it's like playing multiplayer quake on uh, the quest it's definitely a game worth checking out and a lot of fun uh, and i've played a fair bit of it already probably a little bit more than most of the actual default quest games that i've already bought so uh, absolutely worth checking out but hopefully you found that video useful and if you did give it a thumbs up if not give it a thumbs down that's fine i'm big enough and ugly enough take it but do let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like it i try and do better for next time become one of the remarkables hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be known notified when I next upload a video and that's me done I'm out have a virtual high five